One thing that does stay the same is that this is day one, so the gaming floor, the exhibit floor closes at 6 p.m. sharp, but the next three days will be a marathon of gaming and cosplay. PAX East is back. It is a kaleidoscope of color and sound, gaming and cosplay. It's so nice to just be able to like connect with people and especially to show off like the craftsmanship of like cosplay and being able to do that after not being able to for so long. After a pandemic hiatus, PAX Easters are just happy to be here. Just kind of hang out with people and having a good time and you know, being with my fellow nerds. Every show we try to do something new, but a lot of our efforts in this one was just making sure it feels like our, our old shows and and it's back to form and I think we really have nailed it. Tens of thousands will fill the Boston Convention Center this weekend to network with fellow gamers, listen to expert panels and check out the latest games, some not even released yet. That's part of what I like uh, coming here for is that I can just walk around, see someone play something cool and then I'm like, oh, I'm going to go try it now. Of course, there's always a passion for the classics. I really look forward to it. They play a Dungeons and Dragons show on Saturday night, so I that's one of the big things I like to come for. But every little subsect of gaming is here. Tabletop games are here, mobile, virtual, console, PC. It's all, there's all different sorts of gaming here. And despite relaxed COVID restrictions this week, PAX East is sticking with its original game plan, requiring everyone to mask up and show proof of vaccination to get in. And by the way, Saturday is sold out. The gaming floor will be packed. People will be shoulder to shoulder, which is why they're sticking with the masks. There are a handful of tickets left for Friday. More availability for Sunday. We're live at the Convention Center in South Boston. I'm Mary Salad, WCDB News Center 5.